I'm here at the uh, Aussie Disposals car park sale. I haven't actually bought this unit, but there's a little bit of a story behind it. I've actually been looking at this tent for quite a while. I actually found out uh, that it was coming out early last year and I was waiting around till April, May, June. It just never came out. In the end, I had to get the uh, King's Rooftop tent because I had a couple of big trips planned. But uh, it's finally out. It's about a year later than what I needed it. But uh, yeah, definitely an option uh, to consider in the future. Let's have a bit of a look around. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very similar style to the uh, King's Rooftop Tent, which is why I was looking at it. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty much perfect for my uh, setup on the trailer. It's um, same kind of uh, sizing and all that. I'll get some specs and I'll uh, put it up on the screen for you. But essentially, uh, this is definitely the type of uh, rooftop tent that I wanted. And it's a, uh, I wanted to call it the A-frame um, shell rooftop tent. Solid uh, frame good coverage over the um, trailer there for me and uh, absolutely uh, you know a gem so quick to set up and pack up so let's have a look at it and do a bit of a comparison to the uh, four drive super setter Kings uh, rooftop 10 so here we are guys taking a look inside look the first thing I probably notice is uh, that it's quite dark in here and I'm told it's got some uh, special features so blackout basically so it's going to be pitch black essentially when you uh, shut it all up. It's um, I'm feeling the roof. It's uh, quite solid uh, in comparison. It doesn't have as much flex in it, so I'm kind of guessing that's going to be a little bit more solid than uh, what's in the Grand Tourer. I'm looking at the pocket up there. I'm kind of guessing that's an accessory, to be honest. But that's a uh, a little bit better quality again. Uh, look, the uh, the unit overall is uh, definitely a lot better quality. You're looking at special features like. Um, if you can kind of see there in the zippers, uh, they've got like little flaps that sit over the top of the zip to just an extra, you know, reduce any water coming in through that uh, area. The zips uh, do lock up at the top and you've got those little, uh, you know, straps, hooks there that uh, so you can uh, get the uh, flaps out of the way when you're uh, not using them. That can be a bit of a pain. Um, it's got a zip there on the front. I think that's uh, obviously for unzipping the tent. So if you wanted to uh, dry it out properly, the mattress, uh, look, I'm going to say it's probably about the same as the uh, uh, the King's one. It's uh, a little bit firm, so I'd definitely be uh, adding some uh, features to get it a bit softer. But look, to be honest, you can just get a, a, what I've done is a mattress topper and a woolen underlay, and it works quite well. This has got there the elastic uh, strap that hooks onto the side there and uh, the other side, so that just helps bring it all in together. It does also have the uh, elastic over the... Um, that goes over the outside as well like the uh, Kings one to help bring it together again. Uh, you've got the uh, ties there to help uh, hook it uh, up, the uh, flaps out of the way and uh, you've got there the uh, condensation, just a uh, little uh, opening there just to reduce condensation. The awning does uh, clear out of the way. Zips look pretty good. The only thing I'm seeing on this side is the zips pull down from the uh, front. I probably would prefer the uh, zips going the other way like they do on the uh, inside. So th that basically means the zippers um, go to the top so you can leave it open. But it does have that flap at the top for condensation. So probably not going to be the same issue in this tent. Uh, definitely got better pockets inside. I know it's a little thing, but those pockets are standing loose. So that means essentially what happens is I don't use that for my phone, for example, because when it's exposed to cold behind it, your battery is just dead by the morning. Um, you can definitely leave your uh, bedding and all that in there and uh, I like that uh, you can use the um, I, I like that the uh, I like that the roof racks come with it as well on the outside so we'll have a bit of a look around um, great little unit overall pretty happy with it So there you go guys, that's the 230 Sabre rooftop tent. It's uh, definitely a thumbs up for me. So very similar style to the Grand Tour rooftop tent. Probably just a little bit, you know, a lot better quality. Uh, a few little touches to make it a little bit more special. The ladder looks a little bit more solid. Uh, I think the whole unit definitely looks better. I like the colouring of it. Definitely a look better on my camper trailer. And, uh, you know, if I get the chance, I'll definitely uh, be looking at upgrading at some point in the future. Thanks guys. If you like that, please see you again next week. Chat soon.